Hi there everyone and let's check out another very exciting chess game by Mr. Paul Morphy. And in this chess game Paul Morphy's opponent is Adolf Anderson and Anderson needs no introduction to the fans of the chess history. And this time Paul Morphy is playing with the white pieces and Anderson one of the strongest and the most important players in the history of chess is playing with the black pieces. So this game was played in Paris in 1858 and Paul Morphy starts the game with playing e4, e5, f4. The classic king's gambit by Paul Morphy accepted by Anderson, knight to f3, g5, bishop to c4, bishop to g7. And Paul Morphy castled d6, c3, knight to c6, queen to b3. And Paul Morphy is attacking on f7. Defending with the queen, queen to e7, d4, a6, and Paul Morphy played, knight takes on g5, sacrificing the knight, queen takes on g5, and then bishop takes on f7, that's check, king to d8, and then bishop takes on f4, attacking the queen, queen to e7, and then Paul Morphy is getting back the material, bishop takes on g8. So you see why Paul Morphy sacrificed the knight, just like that. Bishop to g4, knight to d2, developing the knight, king to d7, bishop goes back, bishop to d5, knight to d8, bishop takes on b7, attacking the rook, knight takes on b7, queen takes on b7, well, if you wonder if rook to b8, then queen to a4, and black is losing another pawn, and white has four extra pawns in this position, maybe black needs to resign. So knight takes on b7, queen takes knight, a5, and Paul Morphy played, bishop takes on d6, another very aggressive and the sacrificial move by Paul Morphy, intending to sacrifice the bishop. And black can't capture the bishop with the pawn. Black can only capture the bishop with the queen. But Anderson didn't capture the bishop with the queen. And he played bishop takes on d4. That's check. And some people are claiming that Adolf Anderson was frustrated in this position. So he played an aggressive move against Paul Morphy. So maybe he was angry in this position. So he played an aggressive move. But this is just a rumor, so I don't know if that's true. But some people are claiming that, at this moment of the game, Adolf Anderson's face was completely red because of frustration. So after bishop takes on d4, we have c takes on d4 by Paul Morphy. So if queen takes on d6, then rook to f7, king to e8, rook takes on g7. If saving the rook, then rook takes on g4. And you see what's going to happen if capturing the bishop immediately. And before forgetting, of course, you probably knew what's going to happen if king takes on d6. Then we have queen to d5. And that's checkmate. This is checkmate in one move. Let's get back to the game. So maybe capturing the bishop on d4 was the best choice in this very horrible position for black. Maybe Anderson played this move just because this move was the most logical move in this position and not because of frustration. So Paul Morphy simply captures the bishop and Anderson also captures on d6 with the queen. Paul Morphy played the move and Adolf Anderson resigned at move 19. Unbelievable. Well, Paul Morphy played rook to f7. And Adolf Anderson, one of the strongest and the toughest players in the history of chess, resigned. So if king to e8, the possible continuation, then queen takes on a8. So king takes rook, queen takes on h8. And let me show you some other possible continuations. After rook to f7, if king to d8... Then queen takes rook again, bishop to c8, knight to b3, and white has three extra pawns and the rook 
and Black needs to resign. And what happens if king to e6, then queen to b3, the only defense is with the queen, queen to d5, queen takes on d5, checkmate, unbelievable, what an amazing performance by Paul Murphy in the beginning of the game, in the openings, and that's why at move 19, after rook to f7, Adolf Anderson was crushed, and the game ended here. This is the last position of this marvelous game by Paul Morphy. One of the most underrated chess games of Paul Morphy. Not a famous chess game at all. So I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. And I hope to see you next time. Take care and bye bye for now.